What's good guys, Alex is sitting here tech, how you doing? Today we are taking a look at an iPhone 7 case. Yes, I know the iPhone 7 has been out for a while and there's a bunch of cases out there, but when this company called us, Pitaka, when they called us and asked us to take a look at their case, I could not refuse. The material they use is something really unique. It's called Aramid. And I have no I, I had no idea what Aramid was before they contacted us. So I had to Google it and actually found out that it is a really interesting material. It's something that is military grade that they use for like bulletproof vests and military applications. And they put it onto a smartphone case. This iPhone 7 case here uses Aramid. From a distance, it kind of looks like carbon fiber, but unlike carbon fiber, which when you hold it is a bit rough and cool, this is actually really smooth and warm. It's it's quite the polar opposite of carbon fiber. But uh, unlike carbon fiber, which has a little more spacing between it, this is actually really compact. So maybe that's where they're getting the whole, it's super scratch proof. Some people, I, go, I, I YouTubed it too. A lot of people actually shot at these cases. I don't think this thing is bulletproof, but it will take more damage than other cases without show, anything to show for. Uh, my short time with it, it has not received any cases. I've been trying to put it through its vigorous activities this last few days and it still looks like it's brand new so this material i am actually pretty impressed this aramid or whatever this aramid actually is it's very solid i like it and pitaka claims that this is the world's smallest case i don't know if that is logistically or statistically true but i am not going to dispute the claim from a naked eye test because this thing is freaking small it is freaking thin and it is intensely light. This is one of the lightest cases I have ever held. We've taken a lot, we've taken a look at a lot of cases on this channel, both ones that I had purchased with my own funds and also from ones that people send us to take a look at, companies sending us to take a look at. I've never seen a case this thin, this small, this compact before. And I think it offers pretty good protection on the back. Also for the camera, it definitely works really well because it has a little bit of a rim to it to protect it when you put it on a table. But um, I'm actually not too concerned. They also included a tempered glass screen protector inside the box. So I think every one of these cases do also come with them. They are a little expensive though. They are uh, anywhere between 40 to 50 bucks depending on where you buy it. So is it worth it? I got, I'm gonna actually say yes. I, I'm gonna actually say I do like this case a lot, mainly for the aramid material. I don't even know if it's super scratch proof. It's definitely not bulletproof, but the feel in the hand is just terrific. This thing feels sensational. Uh, I've never held something that I liked this much before in terms of a case. I, I think I would pay $40 for this case. And they also supplied me with this this is a car magnetized phone holder that you can put into your air vent your air conditioning vent and uh it just seems very high quality and i have to say this is a pretty good brand i'm actually pretty surprised that i like this case so dang much i'm not a big case fan but i would spend a lot of money on this I like it. I'm actually going to recommend you guys check this one out. It might not be for you, but it might be for you. If you like stylish things and also something that is really durable in terms of scratch protection, this one might be the one for you. Once again, my name is Alex with Tech. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Let me know what you guys think of this particular iPhone case from Pitaka and whether you knew Aramid or not, because I personally really didn't know what Aramid was. So no shame in that. I'll see you guys in the next video. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell button below so that you don't miss a single video in the future. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!